Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video for Friday, March the 15th of 2024. As most of you know, uh, for our trading, we trade recognizable patterns at key levels of support and resistance. Okay, The patterns that we use very simply give us an edge and we know this through backtesting and most importantly, live trading them for many, many years. Like we didn't just come up with, with these yesterday, okay? Uh, but why do these patterns work? Well, in this video, Dargo is going to talk about the price action and candlesticks that tell us a story, okay, giving us a very reliable clue about what to expect next. This video is actually one of the many bonus videos that are included with a sub uh, subscription to our service. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, please give it a thumbs up if you like it. You know, YouTube likes to see a thumbs up in order to rank and categorize the video properly. So yeah, we'd really appreciate your help by hitting the like button. And of course, uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button in the lower right corner of the video. Okay, enough said. Let's now hear from Darko on why Forex price patterns work. Hi everyone, Darko here for your, for a bonus video about <clears throat> why pattern works. Uh, I know that I answered this question several times in other PMAs or bonus videos. So let's just uh, label this bonus video why pattern works. Uh, well, it depends which pattern. Obviously, it's the same for every pattern, right? Because if, if you are trading, like some people trade Gartley, Bats, Cyphers, uh, you know, these are Fibonacci, uh, you know, um, numbers working together. So they, they are telling you which Fibonacci levels to watch and uh, which level that needs to match with the you know extensions and retracements and then the vast majority is watching these levels and therefore it's working. Let's just focus on the three patterns that we are trading in Coach's Corner because there are some price action uh, reading logic behind it that makes sense to me rather than just watching a, a, a number okay and there's some institutional thinking behind those okay so let's just assume that this is a level of support it's obviously the opposite for resistance okay let's start with a cat okay so what is a cat a cat is we are marking a level that makes sense to you as support okay when price hits this level you need price to prove you right so what is an a cat like this is a bullish pin bar let's just uh, assume that this is like a green or blue whatever color you are using for bullish this is a super strong bullish uh, candle action so what does that tells you well the market opens in here right Okay, we, we, we were bearish, we opened in here, we continue bearish, we, we breached or touched a level, pre-known level as a very significant or at least a significant level of support. Price is heading down, 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 so the bearish are winning the, the battle and then the bearish gets uh, basically knocked out by the bullish one. Okay, the, 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 the bullish... Uh, market and when we close super bullish that means the bulls won the war against the bear okay well that's that tells you something that tells you that within that level that you are marking the bulls uh, fight the bears and the the bullish you know the the, the bull market won the war won the battle and that's what you want to see around key levels of support so that's when that happens and then you go to your lower time frame or you you might go to your entry level uh, entry time frame and you see this is an ACAT is a standalone pattern so basically for the next coming let's just say that this is a weekly ACAT then with, within the next coming week you go down to your four hour time frame and you find an entry, a stop loss, and obviously TP1, TP2, because now price has given you all the indica indications that uh, the bulls are winning the war against the bear market. 
okay so therefore when that happens around key levels of support and resistance that's why uh, this pattern is working this could be a, a bullish let, let's just say that this is bearish candle and then the next coming candle is bullish engulfing it's the same thing this was bearish and and, and then the next coming candle uh, went lower than the previous one went bearish we out we opened bearish bearish and then we closed super bullish above the previous candles um, body we engulfing the the previous candle or well, that's a bullish sign that means the institutionals shifted from being bear to bull and that's what you want to see around key levels of support and resistance and when the bulls win the battle well, it's more likely, most likely, that the next coming coming candles will be bullish. Okay, that's for a cat. So, what about uh, swing break rotation? Swing break rotation is super super strong, and it's very logic. Okay, there is an institutional thinking behind that as well, like everything else we do. It's all about structure damage. These swings are made by institutionals. Okay? And you are making lower highs and lower lows going toward a level of support. It's the opposite for resistance. Okay? And then whenever the market violates the previous structure, that means something very significant that means the bulls in this case in here the bulls takes out the the bear market okay Be because it takes huge amount of money trading by the market makers the institutionals the banks you know those who are dictating the rules on how price is behaving so when something like this happens around key levels of, of support and we violate the previous structure that made by institutionals now that tells you that we have a structure damage when that happens price pulls back usually into level of support uh, or we just take the 618 fib retracement whatever comes first for a buying opportunity because now price is telling you that the bulls are in control and therefore the probability is that the next coming candles and moves will be bullish until we violate the next structure okay like if something like this happens now we did a violation of a bearish swing to a bullish swing break and if this happens now we are continuing in alignment with the underlying trend that means price will come back into this level for further downside there is no right and wrong in the market there is no oh geez this setup doesn't work it, didn't, it just you have to understand market structure you have to understand how to interpret candle actions you also need to understand the trend and identify key levels of support and resistance and learn how to pre to read market structures that's all you need to do and then you play the probability game in alignment with the underlying trend so and the rotation is stronger because when you have a closing price this swing in here clearly close below the lowest low that's super bearish and we reclose above the highest point of this structure that's super bullish okay when closing price is decided by institutional okay wicks are emotions it's also a swing break is good enough to be traded a rotation tells you that a closing price you know just breach this level by wicks is good enough to use as a swing break but when you close the entire swing above this level okay and, and you have another close in here that is significant from closing very bearish 
to closing very bullish that is done by you know huge amount of institutional traders around the world the market makers okay like if i draw a candle for you okay let's just say that this candle in here okay uh, or yeah so this is no this 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 was a bad example so if i let's just say that this is the swing break okay we we have several candles in here okay and we have a swing break let's just make this a, a bit higher we have a swing break okay but if that swing break comes with a closing price like we close clearly we close clearly above this level I, I, ignore this one okay we have a clean close that's done by the institutional so basically what i was about to say is if a candle looks like this okay this the wicks are emotions the opening price and the closing price range is where the most institutional order took place so the number that gets within the opening between the opening and closing are where the most institutional order took places took took place the wicks are emotions okay uh, could could be stop hunting could be whatever that might be but that the body of the candle is where the most institutional order took place super important to understand therefore we are only trading necklines and never the wicks okay so that's for swim break rotation what's left it's set and forget okay so what is the logic behind set and forget this is a key level that you have pre-identified as support okay <clears throat> this is a significant neckline and on your entry time frame okay, your entry time frame price is heading up uh, making a lower high and lower low and now we touch that level oh we are breaching that level so now the bears are in control that that's not what you want to see um, within your bias of going long in here but what if price reverse and gives you a strong strong clean clean re-establish like what is a background space what what is convincingly re-established that means you have at least at least one candles uh high you know open close high and low clearly away from the significant neckline that creates background space okay you don't need a swim break for set and forget okay so let's just say that this is just heading down there's no swings in here okay and you have a clean um, uh, break well this level in here is good enough to use as your natural stop okay and now price is heading down into this level to retest retest that level to pick more buyers for further upside at a level that is pre-known okay that's super important otherwise you are just trading patterns in the middle of nowhere so there is an institutional thinking behind them the bear were in control and all of a sudden at a level in alignment with our underlying trend price is convincingly re-establishing that means the bulls now are in control and then you take this setup okay the set and forget is mostly uh likely to be traded in alignment with the underlying trend especially when you have identified like if this is resistance and your analysis tells you like we are breaking this level like no tomorrow okay and on your this is your higher time frame and on your entry time frame price looks like this okay uh, now well this looks also like a set and forget obviously so this the, the the drawing was a bit mistaken so something like this okay and now this happens 
and sometimes uh, a set and forget could also be a swim break rotation okay and sometimes it's only a set and forget so this is the best way of trading set and forget when you have when you have identified buying pressure or selling pressure and price is about to to break that level okay the the worst way of trading it is when your monthly or weekly looks like this and you hit a level of support and then you go down to your entry time frame and look for a set and forget because price could very well just make a lower high and a lower low that's why those set and forgets usually fail so you, so the set and forget there are criteria as when to use those like I said, in alignment with the underlying trend, when you have a breakout, we we used to call this a breakout strategy. Then we just changed it to set and forget, okay? So it's, it's more like waiting for a breakout in alignment with building pressure. And obviously there is an institutional thinking behind it. You, are, you, you know, the bulls are build, building buying pressures and then you explode at a logic level of resistance, now becomes support. And now the set and forget is perfectly used as a pattern, a standalone pattern with, with the logic reason behind it. And that's why it's working, because there is a price action reading, uh, there is the institutional thinking behind it, the big money, the big dogs behind those trades, behind those patents, and therefore the patents are working. That That's basically... Uh, the best way I can explain this within like 15 minutes covering three patterns. Hope this makes sense. Let me know what you think. And I hope that you enjoy this session. And more, most importantly, like if you do not understand why you are trading swim break rotation, why does that work? Why does that make sense to be traded? Like unless you understand it, you, will don't, you won't have faith in it. And if you don't have faith in it because you don't understand it, you tend to lose faith if it's not working in your favor. No patterns in the world works every time in your favor. But once you know, understand, why is this pattern working? Uh, what is the logic reason behind it? And what is the institutional thinking behind it? And the price action reading behind it? Once you understand it, it's very important to understand what you are trading. Once you do that, then you build confidence, faith, and then it takes time to develop that experience to, you know, pick the good ones and, you know, identify trend properly, support and resistance properly with good trade and risk management. Those takes time, but once you get over that threshold, a new world opens for you. Therefore, because you understand what you are doing. You are not just trading it just because Darko made up these patterns and it works for him and hopefully it works for me, but I have no idea why he is trading those patterns or why they are working. Hopefully this PMA, this bonus video will clarify that deeper understanding of why we are trading these patterns and hopefully you understand the concept behind it. Thank you so much for listening and I will talk to you soon. Cheers. So hopefully you found that insightful. Uh, and even if you use some kind of an indicator, which we don't, um, just but by understanding the information in this video, you can make a much more informed decision about possible trade setups. Funny enough, I just heard from one of our new members today telling me that he does prefer to use an indicator. I don't know which one, uh, but that his results have improved immensely since joining our service and getting a better understanding of price action, right? Instead of just relying on an indicator. So yeah, great to see. Anyhow, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, everyone. We will see you next week with another video. Take care.